What if we could take that feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do? And that is Starfield. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We love exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this game, given its scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources, do a mission, and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. And you can view all that in your data menu. This is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your inventory. We love to pack a ton of detail in every object, from all of your weapons, to spacesuits, to food. We just obsess over the details and food. We obsess over food.
Our mission was to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration, to evoke the romance of the golden age of early space flight. And we've been referring to this approach as NASA punk. This means a design language where the tech is advanced, yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast, that's where the visual interest is. Obviously the NASA, which is the rigid, hard function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. You can see that visual style coming through in your ship. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog touch, a bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and lived in. All righty, what's the plan, Captain? Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready, the rest is up to you. land in a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. It's the biggest city we've ever made, not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzing if you really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. Double dairy? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I don't sure. appreciate your tone. And no, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized... When you leave a planet and head into space, you'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. It's all out there. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, you never know what you'll find.
So why go this big with Starfield? Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets and the quiet ones. balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like, what's fun for the player? With Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. It's more dynamic, the animations are more fluid. It just feels great. You have no idea what you're up against. games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls 
to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Wow, this is Starfield.